hi guys welcome to Android guider so in this video we are going to do a quick walkthrough of the first release of the open g apps application so just to get started with uh, when you will be opening the application for the first time you will be greeted by this nice intuitive setup design layout uh, the first welcome screen has uh, the open g apps logo inside it then uh, to carry on with the setup process uh, you can either tap on this uh, next arrow or you can simply swipe to the left edge of to the left edge on your screen and then you will be greeted by the terms of use uh, so there are only two paras inside the terms of use uh, so it's not that uh, long read if you uh, believe that is then uh, once you are once you acknowledge the terms of use you just need to hit the accept button and uh, then it will ask for the file storage permission and uh, just tap on grant permission then you uh, then you need to hit the allow button and once you have hit the allow button it will uh, say permission granted thanks and then uh, to download an of open g apps package you have to grant the application permission to the file storage uh, you know that's it and uh, then we have the root permission so the app offers an integrated install mode to directly install a download package so this install mode requires root access if you want to use it then you need to grant us root permission so this test uh, even though this uh, step is official but uh, in case you want to directly install uh, the uh, g apps after they have been downloaded then uh, you can grant root access to this application um, so once uh, we are done with the root access the next step is the cpu architecture so you know uh, the benefits of using this application over the open g apps website is that you know it will automatically detect your android version and uh, the cpu architecture all of that will be detected automatically uh, and uh, you can even uh, make manual selections as well that is a bit obvious i guess um uh, then uh, as you might have uh, saw in the toast notification uh, the uh, app automatically detects the architecture of your device um uh, and then you know it's really very important to select the right architecture for downloading the right g apps package once you are done uh, just swipe to the left again and you can select the android version uh, all the way down from kitkat to nougat 7.1 which is the latest maintenance release of android uh, you can uh, select any one which you want to then once again when you will swipe to the uh, left uh, you will have the you can select uh, there are i guess a total of eight packages which are available and you can select from pico nano micro mini full stock super or aroma package whichever g apps package you want to i will just select the nano one because that's what i prefer most of the times and then uh, once you have selected the package variant just tap on the done button and uh, we will directly get into the application okay so anytime if you want to uh, change the uh, change the earlier selection that you had done just hit on this change selection and then uh, you will be uh, there in the same design layout uh, you, you know the swiping feature is not available uh, yet you know uh, even though i would personally have loved to have that swiping feature uh, in the change selection menu as well but uh, anyways you know you can just uh, uh, configure all the options as per your choice and then uh, once you are done just hit the complete option <clears throat> Okay, so downloading the open chat package is uh, pretty simple. You just hit the download button and uh, then uh, it will just display one ad. Uh, you, know, just, you can just uh, back or, you know, in fact, there is a close button in the top right corner sometimes. And uh, then it will start downloading the app uh, um, until uh, the device will just have a quick look at uh, all the other app options application gets um, things menu you can uh, either enable or disable the wi-fi you know if you want uh, on your the gf packages to be downloaded on your, then you can check in this option or else if you don't mind them being downloaded over your mobile data then uh, you can just check it off then you can customize the download location uh, automatically clean up uh, the variant has been downloaded then download five uh, change log and then we have already granted the root permission and uh, the white cash slash dalvik you uh, have uh, granted the, as we have even uh, saw in the setup screen uh, the um, open will automatically uh, g apps uh, right uh, right away so uh, you know in case you check in this option then uh, the after the g apps have been installed uh, the cache and dalvik partitions will be wiped as well so you know the 
thing where this comes in handy is that uh, uh, in case you want to avoid all those force closes which are uh, which you might experience after uh, dirty flashing a package of G apps then I will definitely uh, recommend you to hit the cash slash dialvec option because then you will be able to avoid all those uh, um, uh, then uh, you know as you can see that the download has been started um, I'll just hit the cancel button for the moment uh, then we have the support option so from in here you can uh, view everything you want to know about OpenG apps uh, home page translate report bugs OpenG apps wiki support forum support chat source code and uh, then uh, we have this uh, support the OpenG apps project as well um, then uh, about you know you can just uh, view the version this is 1.0 developer name artwork uh, producer easter egg libraries tab if you want to show more you know these are the basically uh, the copyright licenses and all that stuff okay so uh, there is an option if you've seen uh, easter egg found um so uh, you know if you want to uh, know whether you want to uh, how can you find that easter egg then that's pretty simple all you need to do is just a long press on the open g apps logo in here and there you can see that it changes to yes easter egg found and then you long press once again it will go back um so i guess uh, then uh, using the quick links option you can uh, just visit vi uh, just visit the open gs website and view their blog uh, that's all and uh, in case you are interested in uh, donating uh, to the to the owners of uh, this wonderful project then uh, please use the support op uh, support the open gs project option and uh, do consider giving a small donation from your end and uh, at the same time if you are using an ad blocker i mean you know this will just uh, load uh, the donation page and from here in you can make a quick donation and uh, if in case you are using an ad blocker then uh, please consider uh, please consider avoiding it I mean, uh, you know, if you want to use a uh, ad blocker for uh, other applications, then there is an exposed module which specifically allows you to apply uh, ad blocking to only certain applications. Uh, you know, I will definitely uh, recommend you to use that over in case you are using uh, apps such as Adaway because, you know, uh, this is a really, very wonderful project and OpenG apps actually charges, uh, does not even charge you a penny for uh, the G apps you are downloading you know there are no annoying ads or anything of that sort so you know i will definitely recommend you to uh, go ahead and make a small donation or uh, you know if you are using ad blocker then uh, you will see this polite notice ad blocker detected uh, please you know ads can be frustrating but uh, they keep the project and the developers alive please consider donating your disabling your ad blocker or a donation instead so in case you want to continue using the ad blocker just consider donating a, a small amount and all that can be done through the medium of paypal um so i guess uh, that's pretty much it uh, uh, this is all uh, we have in this uh, wonderful application so uh, it will um, so this application allows you to quickly manage uh, and install the G apps directly from the open G apps website and the main advantage which it has over the website is that it will automatically detect your CPU architecture and the Android uh, build you are running on marshmallow KitKat lollipop or nougat anything you will be there you can get all the G apps package and all the eight variants can be selected from the application itself so i guess that this pretty much sums it up so thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one